Hi, I am Rashani DeBell, and you are learning algebra. Hi everyone, in today's lesson you are going to learn how to factor a quadratic trinomial. We will start our lesson by looking at what factoring is and the steps to factoring a quadratic trinomial. I will then show you three different methods that you could use to factor a quadratic trinomial. We will end our lesson with an example problem that I want you to try on your own in preparation for our class discussion on factoring quadratic trinomials. So let's get started. Factoring quadratic trinomials. Our objective is to factor a quadratic expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. What does factoring mean? Factoring means to break a number down and express it as a product of two numbers. For example, 12 can be broken down into 3 times 4. To factor a quadratic trinomial means to write it as a product of two linear binomials. For example, x squared minus 5x plus 6 can be factored into x minus 2 times x minus 3. Factoring of a quadratic trinomial is the inverse operation of multiplying the two linear binomials, sometimes called unfoil. What this means is, if I were to multiply these two linear binomials, I would end up with this quadratic trinomial x squared minus 5x plus 6. How does factoring work? When factoring, you are looking for the greatest common factor of all of the terms in the expression. Let us quickly review how to find the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And the way I got that is 1 times 18 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 times 6 is 18. The factors of 24 are 1 and 24, which give me 24, 2 and 12, which multiply to 24, 3 and 8, which give me 24, and 4 and 6. Our greatest common factor for both 18 and 24 are 6, because that is the largest factor that both 18 and 24 have in common. If I were to factor 6x squared plus 3x, both of these terms, 6x squared and positive 3x, are divisible by 3x, and they're divisible evenly. So I can factor out a 3x to get 3x times the quantity 2x plus 1. I can check my work by distributing this 3x into the quantity 2x plus 1 and checking to see if I end up with 6x squared plus 3x, which was my original expression. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times positive 1 is 3x. And yes, this is the factored form of 6x squared plus 3x. So here are the steps for factoring a quadratic trinomial. First, make sure that it's written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c. We will take a look at this example 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. Step 1, we want to find the product of our a and c terms. So in this example, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Step two, list the factors that multiply to a times c. So I want all of the factors that multiply to 24. And I like to list them in order from least to greatest. So I know one times 24 is 24, two times 12 is 24, three times eight is 24, and four times six is 24. Step three is to check factors to find one that adds to B. In our example, B is positive 2. So I want to find two numbers that add to positive 2, and I'm also going to check because I want my product to equal negative 24, not positive 24. 
So I know in order to get a negative product, one of my numbers has to be positive, one of my numbers has to be a negative. In addition to this, I need the sum to add up to a positive 2. Well, in order for this to add up to a positive 2, the larger of the two products has to be a positive number. So here's my list of factors of negative 24. As you can see, I've listed all of the smaller numbers in those product factors as a negative. And I'm going to check to see which one of these add up to a positive 2. Negative 1 plus 24 is positive 23, not what I'm looking for. Negative 2 times uh, plus 12 is a negative 10, not what I'm looking for. Negative 3 plus 8 is a positive 5, not what I'm looking for. And then I've got negative 4 plus 6. Well, negative 4 plus 6 gives me a positive 2, which is exactly what I want over here. So the two factors that I am going to choose for this quadratic expression is going to be negative 4 and positive 6. I am then going to use one of these methods, either the box method, the x method, or the grouping method to factor my quadratic trinomial. And finally, I'm going to check my work by multiplying the resulting linear binomials. This concludes the notes part of our lesson on factoring quadratic trinomials. Please watch part two of our lesson on factoring quadratic trinomials to learn about the three different methods that you can use to factor a quadratic trinomial.